Back to work at Memorial Stadium with only 30 days and counting until the Sycamores take the field for the first time under head coach Kurt Mallory against Eastern Illinois on August 31st. And just like in the spring, there is tons of optimism about the upcoming Sycamore season. Anticipation today, you know, we knew we'd come out, there was some energy, but we got to follow up tomorrow's practice with the same type of energy. Got some things we got to clean up, which is normal for your first day. The fire, it seems like there's a fire and, uh, you know, especially looking at the uh, preseason um, rankings, even though I don't really care about them, but the fact that we were, they were ranked and we're going to be underdogs in every game, it just brought us a lot closer and um, we're, really, we're really looking forward to it. It has been a long road back for Lamont Booker, missing all of the 2016 season, and even going in and out of the lineup following an injury suffered at Purdue in 2015. Simply put, he was ready to take the field for fall camp this morning. And honestly, the feeling's surreal, man. I mean, it's surreal. I haven't been on this field in so long, you know, getting ready for a season. Um, but the feeling's surreal, and it's just good to be out here it's just working towards the goal. Had to, you know, not try to take more, you know, bite off more than you can chew, you know, and um, I'm just trying to be humble and just, you know, just take baby steps, not try to, you know, run before I crawl. So. Rex Mosley played Maction football with Northern Illinois and finds himself in Sycamore Blue and White. It's a chance to be closer to home for the Indianapolis native, but also be part of what he believes is something special brewing in Terre Haute. I mean, any, any place I've been when I was with um, Northern Illinois and we won a championship, you could feel this, this players pushing players, coaches pushing coaches, and as you get here and it's like you get that same feel, you get that same feel of everybody caring, everybody pushing and everybody not accepting, you're not accepting half, half go, you're not accepting people not going hard. So you feel it just makes you more excited to play the first game here. One name you will continue to hear more and more throughout spring ball is Jonas Griffith, redshirt sophomore linebacker who put in the sweat during the summer heat at Memorial Stadium with those player only practices. Now. He's ready for it to pay off this fall. I'm real confident. I plan to work over the summer, spring, and winter. It's fall time, baby. It's time to go. 30 days, I think, till Eastern Illinois. Yeah, I can't wait for it, man. 30 days, man, every night, man, I'm just thinking about it. Every night, watching film, getting better for it. Every day is a grind, you know, so just get better every day because it's going to come quick. I know fans are ready to know who will be where, what they can expect come August 31st. But slow down just a tad. This staff wants to know what to expect come August 31st, which is why camp is an extremely important time. There's going to be some positions that are wide open. Uh, obviously, we've got some guys um, as we're getting closer into game time, but uh, you know, we got to make some decisions. I think after the first week, we'll start putting them in live situations. You know, Right now, we're just in helmets, and we'll be in helmets again tomorrow. Uh, we'll put shoulder pads on after that for two days, and then we'll be in full pads on Saturday. And then the following week, we'll start livening some things up. When the bolts are flying, we'll see who reacts. That does it for day one of fall camp. Day two tomorrow, which means you know where to stay for updates on fall camp for Indiana State football right here on GoSycamores.com.